when we look at the product catalog, we also need to consider the computational requirement, the communication overhead that it is going to have. It means we can look at the product catalog literally as a database. So in this database based approach, we are going to look at the product catalog as a table that consumes computing resources. So the computing resources would have apparently a linear, if we talk about in terms of simplicity, relationship with the size of the catalog and the, with the customer base that a certain product has. So this complexity has to be dealt with, it has to be managed. So we can talk about how to size it and how to regularly monitor it to make sure that the product catalog is not overwhelming because if the product catalog as such becomes overwhelming, then the services which are offered in a certain product would become unmanageable as well. So let's look at the product catalog as a detailed listing which is stored in a computer or a server like a database. So this is going to be a very live, vibrant database with dynamic and frequent changes. So this particular database would have to be kept really up to date in terms of the product catalog what time it was created, how many products are there, each aspect of a certain product with at which particular time a certain aspect or a certain feature in the product catalog was introduced and if it was um, removed from that particular catalog, what is the end time for that. Then if a certain offer was initially made in a catalog and later it was removed, what exactly is the replacement and what value addition is that replacement doing in lieu of the previous uh, feature that was there. And since each product is being offered to multiple users, now how many of that users have quit a certain product? How, have, how many of them have migrated from the previous version of the product to the advanced version of the product, how many of the users have actually moved from certain options in a product to certain other options in the product and have they extended the overall service or the options of a certain product or they are actually using only a fraction of the services which a product can offer. So when we look at the product catalog, we say that a perfect product catalog actually would mean that the total number of products are finite, limited. The total options in each product are many. It means the number of products have to be kept tangible. Each product should come with a lot of offering. Each offering should be dynamic. It means it can be offered, the customer can opt for it or the customer may not opt for it. These products are so appropriately designed that they are actually as per the demand of the subscriber base. So it means that the promotion or the highlighted highlights of the uh, product in the catalog are most appropriately presented in terms of the price that a certain product has, the market segment and the demographic aspects of the product are so well thought out and so realistic. And the each product is being offered depending upon the customer base. It means if you look at a certain product in terms of geography, it could be popular in one part of the map and it could be unpopular or totally unknown in other part of the map. So 
generally the products are categorized or classified as uh, belonging to three to four certain um, areas or levels. For instance, we can think about the best effort service as in um, unqualified product, which is going to offer you base level connectivity, then silver products, gold products, and VIP products. On the face of it, these sound very attractive and very, very um, fancy words. But in reality, there is an increasing level of quality of service associated uh, with these starting from the best effort to silver right up to VIP. Now, as we just said, if we have too many products, it is going to incur heavy load on the uh, infrastructure that a service provider has to maintain. So the thumb rule is uh, keep the products limited, keep the options many. This would have a direct and a positive impact of having manageable complexity, the total cost of maintaining the infrastructure in terms of the capital and the recurring cost is going to be affordable and business viable and the overall training which would be required for the internal staff would require minimum minimum investment think about introducing so many products the first thing you actually have to do is train your own staff to be expert in understanding those products themselves only then your customer care department your marketing and sales departments would be exactly knowing what are they offering and how can they best sell it the most important aspect in the long term product viability is that the products have to be continuously monitored it means each product catalog has to be related to the number of customers or the subscriber base which it currently has it means a product which is not very hot in fact known as cold product actually has to be replaced with a product uh, which is emerging and which actually attracts the customers so identifying um, that is isolating and detecting such product catalogs and removing these from the product listing is going to have the impact on the infrastructure such that the infrastructure can continue to serve products which appear, disappear and reappear according to the market requirements.